Hi there, welcome back to my channel. So I have finished my paper project. Um, let me show you, I kind of, I called my mom on Wednesday and I was like, I bit off way more than I could chew this week with my paper challenge because I started so many projects. I had someone ask me in my last video, how is it that I'm able to get so many projects out of my paper collection and like, what do I do? Like, what's my planning process? And um, the truth is, I don't really have a whole lot of, of planning process whenever I start a project. My idea, like, I, um, what I do is I grab a little scrap piece of paper and I end up writing out, like, I choose my paper pack, first of all. And it's usually at random. I just grab something off the shelf. I don't even look at it until it's pulled off. And then I try to make it, a like, I don't know. To me, it's like a goal just to finish whatever it is I grab. And um, so that's what I did is I just grab a random paper pad and then I look at whatever I am working with, like whatever the paper is. And I try to like formulate ideas of what I could make with it based off of whatever the pattern is on the paper. And then I just make a list of like ideas of things I would like to make. Um, I don't always make all of the items that I have on, on my idea list. Um, sometimes I just run out of paper and that's what happened this week. So I ran out of paper and so I had to pull other things. Like that's usually what I have to do. I have to pull like other individual pieces from my collection. So this was the, it had 23 sheets. This was a partial paper pad. I had used part of it before and I pulled all the papers out and I've used just about every single thing. As I mentioned, I do have a ton of scraps left. So I'll probably spend today and tomorrow since I'm done, you know, today and filming this today, I'll probably spend the next couple of days before I start the next paper challenge, just trying to use up some of these scraps. Um, but the, this isn't a fair, you know, indication of how much scraps I actually have left because this is from three different paper pads slash uh, collections. So anyways, so I used up this and then I ran out of paper whenever I was doing this. So I had to go into my stash and I had this paper pad also in a six by eight. So this was a full brand new paper pad. And as you can see, I used all the papers off of this minus little tiny scraps. And then um, I ran out of paper after I did that. So I had to look into my shelves and I found um, an Echo Park collection, which is where most of these big scraps are, are from. It's from, it was from a partially used um, paper collection. I had just odd sizes like this left in here and then these long skinny strips and then some like three by four, four by four and six by eight. Wait, not six by eight, four by six cut apart. So that's kind of why I have so many, so many scraps in here. It's definitely looks like it's a lot more than it actually is. There's some just itty bitty pieces. And then I also have some chipboard pieces and ephemera and things that I had pulled from my stash also. So um, I do plan on going through and kind of cutting down, down those scraps a little bit. Um, so anyways, I might show what I end up doing with that. We'll see. All right. So let me show you the different things that I made. Um, first I'm going to show you these. These are, um, mini photo albums that measure five and a half by four and a quarter. So four and a quarter, quarter tall by five and a half. And I have had some of these in my shop before that are this exact same size. And so I decided to just go ahead and re replace those, I guess, or restock them in this pattern. Um, it says, hello, magic right here. I have a little belly band and I have some of these little, um, photo mats right here. These measure two by two. Well, no, they don't measure two by two. They hold a two by two photo. I'm looking for my, yeah, I always keep one of my daughter on my desk of her little two by two. So, um, if you put it over here, you have a little nice little mat. This, I had to do a journaling spot that measured two by two right there. But anyways, so you could put her little, put a little photo there and journal about it on the right side. So we have the D for Disney. And then we also have, um, a little boy eating a pretzel over here. We have a little window pocket with this as it can be like a journaling spot or a photo mat. Mainly just wanted to have something in that pocket. That's why that's there. And I will say it is a little bit of a tight fit with those, these types of photo, um, these types of window pockets right here. See, here's, um, this is from the Echo Park collection. This is not from the Simple Stories collection. 
Yeah, I also like I also had to pull some paper from actually so I pulled from four different paper things. I had an Echo Park birthday paper pad um that I pulled from too because I was I was getting desperate because I started too many projects. Alright, full of wonder. We have a little Mickey um ear pocket, I guess tuck spot actually. All right, and then this has some just little journaling cards. Magic, imagine, believe, dream. All right, and then we have a pocket here. And then right here, we have a little tassel dangle on a paper clip, and that's just kind of holding this closed. Um, I have right here, this is a... I, I cut this out to be used as like a photo mat template. So this is like a good size to cut your photos down to, to be able to put them on these pages, the big pages, if you want your photo to be that big. Like if you want to save as much as the photo as possible. That's why I stuck that in there just to use as like a little template. And so there's that. And then I also have another one here. So this one is like a three by four. If you need to cut your photos down and you need to know like how big of a, how big you need it, you could trace around this on your photo and then cut it out like that. So that's why I included those. Probably not necessary. I just wanted to have something. Oh, 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 it's magic. All right. So pretty simple. Just a cute little mini album to save your favorite photos in if you take a trip to Disney. Okay, so there's that one. Um, this one is Memories. I did stitch around the both of these. And then right here, we have a belly band with a couple of little photo mats, um, a pocket, this is Dream Big. And this one has a top pocket, this is Snap Click Gotcha. It's a big camera. And like I said, you don't have to use these in these albums. I just like to have something tucked in those spots. Another tassel paper clip, and then this one is where I put this mat. Another pocket with a little tuck in. I know I'm kind of not straight on this camera, so let me let me try to get situated a little bit better. Okay. Another little. There's a little castle. And then we've got that just tucked in the back pocket. Okay, so there's that one. So we have two that are that size, and then there are two that are this size. So this is three and three quarters by four and a quarter. So another little mini album. This one just tucked these little ones in like that. This front cover is You Are My Happy Place, and it's got the castle on the front. This is a tag. Um, you, if you've been following me for a while, you may have remembered whenever I made a bunch of these tags. I'm glad I got to use these in this because they've just been sitting in my stash. But that's why I made those was so that I would have them ready for whenever I needed something. Snack, click gotcha. I love this little scallop border pocket. Of course. love when I can't put it back in. So this is ideal for like little two by two size photos or a three by four photo, um, I believe. And well, you know what, maybe it wasn't three by four. I'll show you in just a second because I did do a photo mat. Maybe it is three by four, let me measure it. Yeah, I guess it is for a three by four, okay. So I do have a photo mat for that size clip, clipped in. I don't normally include the little photo mat option thing, but um, I just kind of wanted to for these just so that people would have an idea of what size photo to use. And then we got a top loading pocket there. And then back here in this pocket, just a couple little two by two little journaling spots tucked in. All right, so there's that one. And this one smiles from ear to ear. Um, I'm not going to pull everything out like I just did. I like these window pockets. Um, this is like a, I think two by three. That was another like little thing you could, a different size photo, I guess. 
I've mentioned before, I use the PicFrame app um, to collage my photos to be able to get them to this size. So I collage them in PicFrame and then I print them out and then I can, you know, just cut them apart after they've been collaged. Say cheese, this one, another one of those little top loading scallop border things. All right. Okay, so that is the other little mini album. So two of those and two of the other size. Um, after that, I have some little traveler's notebooks. These are faux leather. Let me show you what they look like on the inside real quick. These have the lined um, inserts. A little dangle clip at the top here. Here's the folder. You're all that in a cup of tea. Got a couple of journaling cards inside the folder. Make you memories. I have a pin clip with a gel pen on the side. And then I did do like a little bookmark using some of the cut aparts. Yeah, so there's this one. And then I also have this one. This is love. Best ride ever. Oh, and this one has like a little cloud and a little um, wrapped bead. Some more journaling cards. Here's the bookmark for this one. This is fun. Tired feet and full heart. Oh, tired feet, full heart. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. And I've got one more of these. This one's fun. I like the, the shiny. It's really pretty. Wish Upon a Star. Go see ride. Oh, this one has, the top has a little charm that says Believe. And then just another little wire wrapped bead. Adventure. All right, so those, we've got three of those done. All right, I'm running out of space to set these already. Okay, the next thing I had an idea for was to make these little autograph books. So these are really, really simple. Um, I didn't do a lot of decorating to them on the inside or anything. Of course, I did stitching around the cover and, you know, decorated the front a little bit. Uh, but the inside is mostly... Um, this is a pocket over here. I didn't put anything in it. Might have to put something in there, but I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to drag all this stuff back out. All right, so um, anyway, so we have some just blank white pages for autographs. And then I also included some pattern paper to put a photo on. So my idea, these these will hold four by six photos, the full length of them. Um, my idea was to put... You know, so somebody could, you could have, like, let's say you have your picture made with Cinderella. You could put the picture here, and then you can have her autograph right here. And, um, yeah, that was my basic idea for that, was to be able to have some pages in here that could have photos on them. I wish they were double-sided photos, because it would have made it a little bit easier, because then you could have had autograph here, autograph here, photo, photo. And you can still do that, but, um, yeah. Anyways, so that's what these look like. They are, like I said, just very simple. I occasionally put some of the stickers that I had in my stash. I only had like 10 stickers, so I just divided them between the two. Um, so yeah, that's what these look like. These are really simple. They, and I, did, I just did two of them. I don't necessarily feel like I need to do a flip through of this since it's almost exactly the same, but I will just real quick. Now I'm second guessing. I wonder if this is for four by six photos. Let me see. Because I'm wondering, I don't know if I took into account the, um, yeah, so no, it won't hold a six by photo, six six inches wide it would have to be trimmed down a little bit but anyways I think the other size photo you can get printed is a five and a half so that would work perfect if that's the case all right anyways let's keep 
going. All right. Yeah. And like I said, pockets in the front and back covers of these. I love how they turned out. I think they look really, really cute. All right. That's an idea for like a craft fair item too. I think that's a, those would be, those are pretty fast to make, pretty easy. You're just trimming down papers. That's basically it. You're not decorating or anything. So stuff like that's fast. Okay. Here is the thing I wanted to finish from a, it's been in my basket. I have a basket on my desk of, actually it's not exactly on my desk. It's on my bookshelf. But anyways, um, of unfinished projects, like things I had started and then lost um, interest in making as I was making them. <laughs> so I have a whole basket full of things. I've tried not to do that here lately, but anyways, so, um, this was something that was in there and I noticed that this was obviously it's Mickey Mouse ears and it's the same paper as, uh, what I was working with. So I decided to pull that out and start working with it. In fact, there was way more pages to this and I had to re recoil it and take some of the pages out because it was just way too many. Um, this is a f cut file that I made personally on Cricut. It's not something that you can go and, well, I don't know. You might be able to buy Mickey ears like this. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so this is something that I had to make myself using my Cricut and I spent a lot of time designing it. And then um, I guess that's why I lost interest is because I spent so much time trying to format it and make it look correct. But anyways, and it's huge. This is like a, let's measure it. I don't know. I don't know how big it is. Um, yeah, it's about 11 inches in length. And then I guess at the widest point, it's almost eight inches wide. So anyways, let's look at what it looks like. This is my happy place. Um, there's some things I did in this that I wish I would not have done. So first of all, like I had already circled all of the ears and I just hadn't done anything in the bottom so I had to kind of work with what I had done before but anyway so we have um little Mickey ears here this one I glued down all the way there's some I didn't glue down all the way and I just want to see what I did anyways I have this photo mat here photo mat here photo mat here photo mat I mean you could photo mat that or you could journal on it and just kind of left up to whatever you want to do here I did Oh, I did glue that one down all the way. But anyways, I have a little journaling spot for two by two photos right here. And then did I glue it down all the way here? No, I did not. So I did have this so that you can tuck under it a photo if you wanted to. Um, and then we have our adventure starts here. More photo mats just right here. Okay. And then right here, this is, you can tuck under that. This one is a belly band with a journaling card and photo mat. All right. This one I ended up stitching around that just to make it a little bit more interesting. And this is for three by four photos and this does open up like that and you could put photos on both sides. And there's magnets there in that one. Okay, this is uh, for three by three photos. You can take a photo behind that. This one folds up. So yeah, mostly these are all for three by four photos or three by three photos. Um, but yeah, so that's what this looks like. It was definitely um, something that took a lot of time for me to finish just because I kind of set it for over... It might have been two years that it's been sitting in that basket. But anyways, I'm glad I finally was able to finish it. I really like it. I think it's cute. Anyways, okay, so let's move on. The last thing I've got done so far for this paper collection, like I said, I will try to go through some of those scraps and get some things done with that today. But I have right here a prayer binder. I um, have been meaning to make some more of these and I do plan on making some more. I think this next week I might make one or two more this next week. We'll see what I can do. Um, but anyway, so let's take a look at what this looks like. I won't go through and explain all the sections and stuff like I typically do. If you want to know what, how I use my prayer binders, just click one of the previous videos that are labeled war binder slash prayer binder. Um, I'm just merely doing a flip through of what this looks like on the inside. Um, just so people have an idea what it looks like. Cause most people that have followed me for a while know what, what these entail. 
This is a bookmark. I've got some extra tabs right here. And then of course I had to include some glitter, glitter Mickey ears to decorate with in this one. And there's some journaling cards there too. And then these are some stickers that are just like um, faith related. And so I thought those were cute. This is a little dangle clip I made. Um, and of course it matches the, where is it? It matches this. And of course these match those um, traveler's notebooks too because this is the same leather. I use the scraps to make these other things. And then I've just got some of this little star um, washi tape. It's like a navy blue. I thought it kind of coordinated really well with this. All right, this is one of the large six by eight pieces that were in that other um, that other paper pad that I ended up having to grab from. So, and then back here, I made a little pocket with some of these tucked in, the larger journaling cards. This is the goal section. Uh, oh, this is a pocket. I gotta put something in here. Okay, I'll have to do that. All right, and then we've got the gratitude section. And these are all pages that I have designed and um, put together for my prayer binders. Let's pray. Here's a pocket with some journaling cards from the collections. And then here's just a little dangle clip that I made to go with it. Prayers. Praise. We got the scripture section right here. That's what that looks like. And then I've got one of those needle point pens that I really love in here. There's the Bible reading tracker. And then let's see, notes. Uh, we got the regular notes, sermon notes section in here. Worship, the worship section. I've explained what how I my ideas for that in another video you could look at the previous one resources we got some undated calendars back here and in this back pocket i've got just some different things i've got journaling cards some stickers um sermon study notes and some more like faith stickers in the back. So anyways, that is what this look, this one looks like, how I use some of the paper from the collection. Um, I did, I will say whenever I am using a paper collection, um, going back to the question that I had previously about how I can use, um, how I get so much out of it, I start with the, whenever I am decided what projects I'm making, I start with the biggest things first and go ahead and get those pieces done first. So like this was the first thing I did. I did the inside and the outside covers for this because I knew that was going to require the biggest pieces of paper. And I didn't want to get to the end of my project and not have enough paper to do this because this obviously needs to be a solid piece. And so that's what I did. Um, so that's just another little helpful tip. Anyways, I hope this got this inspired you guys. Um, yeah, I am, I feel pretty accomplished after getting all of these projects done, especially finishing something that's been in my stash for so long. I feel really accomplished having got that done because I get tired of seeing those things sitting in that basket. But anyways, hopefully I'll get through it eventually. This is the paper collection I'm going to be using for this next week. Um, let's see, this, like I said, I just grabbed something random off my off my shelf and I don't really pay much attention to what it looks like until I get to my desk and I start looking at it. And I have not looked at these papers yet. Um, obviously I've done something with this paper before. I don't know what. Um, I, I see I've used some of the stickers. I don't remember what I used it for. This had to have been recent, I feel like. But anyways, those are the stickers that are left. We have some green and some carrots. Oh, look at these journaling cards. These are really pretty. All right, some scrap pieces here. That's pretty. <laughs> That's funny. I love you from my head to my toes. That's cute. Homegrown. I did some, I don't know. I don't know what I did. So look at those. Isn't that sweet? Those are cute. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. All right. Recipe card. Maybe I did a recipe book with us. I don't remember. Okay, so we do have quite a few of these pages left. So good. We got some big pieces. And then pineapples. That's kind of a strange 
piece to have in the homegrown. You can't really grow pineapples at your home, can you? I guess if you're in a tropical climate, that's just, that's an unusual pattern for this. Um, it's funny. Some cherries. I don't know. I've never met a person that's grown pineapples at their house. I mean, I guess if you grow pineapples in your home, leave a comment below. We'd love to know. <laughs> I think that's funny. All right. So, yep, that's what we will be working with this week. There's not a ton of pages, but this will hopefully give me a breather because after this last, um, this last week, I feel like I need something simple to work with, something easier. Um, and I'm looking at this now, and I don't know if I'll be able to do a prayer binder with these papers just because I'm going to not have enough. I need two of the same pattern to do those. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be working with. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you inspiration. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will. If you like to see videos like this, completion videos, um, stash busting videos, I find them very interesting and I hope you guys do too. But anyways, have a wonderful rest of your week. Take care.